Welcome back to another episode of the Cardboard Addicts. What's going on, Grumpy, Gonzo, and Ren? How you guys doing? Good. Fantastic. I'm ready to go back yeah. to bed. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, today today we are going to be talking about nostalgics. We're going to be talking about Pokemon Funkos. We're going to be talking about 151 set again because there's more information. We're going to huh. be talking about uh, some uh, China collab thing with a library i don't understand what the hell that is but we're going to talk about it uh we're going to talk about the pre-release for uh paldeo evolved and of course obsidian flames because i mean you know more news about how they evolved wouldn't, at this point right it wouldn't be pokemon so, if they didn't release three sets ahead yeah that's right yeah. so yeah that's what we're going to be uh discussing today let's get into it all right, we'll kick things off with the old nostalgics there. Um, so Harmonic now Surge they, they came out, dropping. They came out with the entire set now, right? The the set yeah, list? the whole the whole set list. Yeah, yeah. We uh, yeah. we're we're only a couple days away by the time you guys are seeing this from the release. Uh, you have until May thirty first to pre order for Uber savings, so definitely do so. Mm -hmm. um, let's jump true, into true, this true. now. Ren, are these in any kind of order as far as rarities? Um, no, it's just the the numbers for the set. Okay. Right on. So we'll just jump into it then. Um, so starting it off strong, you got that Sergeant Surge. Um, they did a promo for this at the last Collecticon, didn't they? They did, and I have it here, but it's it's like different artwork. Oh, ah, gotcha. Oh, nice. So they did like a void rare uh, for the uh, promo, kind of. Kind of, it's actually the first textured card, and you can't tell on this because this camera's poo. But um, yeah, this is the first full art textured card. Now, how's the texturing on that? Uh, it looks honestly, it's very comparable to Pokemon, but I think it's a little bit more pronounced, and I like it better. Okay. Is it also close to like what we got with those jumbo cards? Because those jumbo cards were uh, no. Well, those were those were like stained glass, so they. No, oh, it's not. It's not good. the ju the jumbo cards make me think more of like Digimon and Dragon Ball Super, like more mm -hmm. with like the outlined like yeah uh, yeah kind of lines whatever. Um, so this is actual texture like what we get with Pokemon, I guess more so. Yeah, I would think of like a Pokemon full art style. Interesting. Pretty it's just cool. it's a little bit more pronounced, and that makes it stand out more to me. Um, so the way this list is set up, is it like the void rares at the end or like secret rares, whatever? Yeah. So all the voids okay. and the gold card should be considered secret rares. So they'll be at the very end. Gotcha. By the way, if you're listening and not watching on YouTube and you can't see the cards, you could always go check out, um, the card list when you get a chance that nostalgics, tcg.com yep. forward slash harmonic, harm, uh, harmonic dash surge dash card dash list yep so yeah right there go. that way to go that was that was great that was fantastic everybody's gonna be like i have no idea what, what he just said <laughs> you could, you could splash page on the on the nostalgics website and it'll be right there all the right i like the thrill one up 100 percent. yeah so yeah. the cool thing about like all this is the turn up line is like the ev in nostalgics where it's got like a bunch of evolutions Thrill up is kind of like the anti turn up. So if you read like his his attack and everything, he's he's built to counter specifically the turn up line. I mean, it gives me a Cad Bane vibe. Yeah, and yep. that's why I love it. He's gonna be a cool one. I think turn up is gonna be a very popular deck once this drops. So I'm gonna be mm. building some decks with Thrill up for sure. So uh, nice. speaking of that. Is there any cards that stick out to you uh, for a competitive format that you have to have on a deck like right away? The very first deck I plan on building is going to have the good dragon line because it's a mill deck. And that's honestly just going to enhance my mill deck. I already have, which is super competitive. Uh, okay, I, nice. I, I've beaten Zaba, the creator of the game with my mill deck already. Oh, Zaba. So, the yeah, statement's been take, made. Take if he's in here, he can Zaba. attest to it. <laughs> nice. He's going to yeah. call you a liar. Well, I got to tell you, the art on uh, the set is looking phenomenal. In fact, better 
than the first set. And I thought the first set had a really good art. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. This is really they step it up a notch here. I mean, you know what is kind of unique, I need the Magna though, Fox. Yeah. Yeah, the Magna Fox. Actually, that was a secret. I like that Botticelli too. too. Nah. Yeah. I like that. With right. this set though, <laughs> um, I think they had less like fewer artists than they did in the base set. Do you know how many base right. set or how many sorry, how many artists there were in the base set, and then how many there are in this one? Um, I don't know offhand. I just I vaguely remember him saying something about um, there was there was a few there was just like a couple artists less for this one than there was for the original Dubs set. Toad. But that line right there, the Tome Pyre, Grimhold, and Gadragon is the is the line I'm going to be going for. Oh, that Gadragon looks pretty good. Now, oh, so yeah, is that like going to have a uh, a hollow to it as well? We don't know which symbol, ones right? the hollows are yet. Yeah, well, so all the gold framed cards are rares, but this oh, doesn't okay. outline which ones are hollows. The only one I know for sure that's a hollow is going to be Frigant, and that's because I pulled it in one of my spoiler packs. But outside that, I have no idea which ones are going to be hollows. Crab. I hope the good dragon is, though. It, it would have to be with that kind of artwork. It looks like it would be. Yeah. I, well, I imagine the. Uh, I'm hoping Afrith is, Afrith is too. Yeah. Be. Yeah. Well, it's the sister of Lilith, if you follow the lore, but Lilith wasn't a holographic. So hmm. I don't know. Maybe Ooh. they won't make this one either. But yeah. Interesting. Look, Sulon's missing electric dinosaurs. Yeah. They're good ones, mm. too. Mm mm mm. Um, yeah, no, I, I'm loving this. This is, uh, this is pretty cool. I know you covered this on your channel, um, like a couple weeks ago, but I figured since we're like a week out from it, you know, wanted yeah, to do, it's always good to refresh, do our due diligence as people are going to be and placing that, their that card up there. If you go back up a little bit, Hardy is one of the limit break. You'll, you'll see like that special stamp next to it. So on the hmm. Kickstarter, those, there was like eight, eight or 10, um, people that bought like the eight thousand dollar package for the, the nostalgics Kickstarter, that was their choice. They could either get a limit break card as like a one of one hundred special promo, or they could have it featured in the set. And the only one I know of so far is Hardy that was put into a set. So hmm. it's kind of like that, like outlying special card. I'm sure it's going to be a foil too. Yeah, I mean, you would think they. I don't. Eh, I mean, you never know. But yeah, you would think they would do that due diligence i like that slick rat as well like it's just kind yeah. of a unique looking art it's a cool card for sure yeah. I, I like that it goes past the boundaries so like the cards he's right. flicking kind of go down into the text it's oh just, yeah it's that level of uh art that's really cool yeah for sure witchy long like the leg disco ball with the with yeah. the, the witchy long legs yeah. yeah um so what's your favorite card from the set so far ren Ooh. Chills a lot. I like so that. artistic wise. Oh, that frigant right there. Talks That's the one that I got as a uh, <laughs> <It's funny>. hollow. <laughs> um, art style wise, my favorite is probably laser barrier. But if I'm going for like an actual fighter type of card, it's gonna be um, it's one of the void rares down at the very bottom. I can't can remember the name, but can it's we like talk a, about a just the awesome puns for this set really quick and the <laughs> fact that they're just going after everybody VR. Yeah, with VR, the NFT fungible toad? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then it's even called invest. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Now that's that's kind of like the cool thing with nostalgics. They did that a little bit in base set too, and they definitely yeah. went more into it with this set here. Oh man, uh, oh, my bad. the Consal, hero. I knew that one. The Guitar Hero ripoff there, oh, man. arcade. I've been I've been watching a lot of people uh, uh, play that on TikTok lately, and it makes me want to play Guitar Hero again. Well, I think it's pretty cool. They've got not only the the arcade one, but they have the console. Yeah, console. Yeah, and the the first evolution is called VR too. Yeah, which yeah. is uh, right there. Yep. Yeah, they uh, they did a great job with these. Honestly, like I don't know I what do. Zaba's got going on with the creativity. I do want to know which... what the obsession is with frogs, though. <laughs> There's a ton of them. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like the special thing in the set. I'm not sure if it's just like Zaba's really big in the frogs, which it could be. But yeah, I think it's kind of like every TCG has a mascot, and he just wanted the lucky frog to be the because there's three so. of them right there. <laughs> frog as, 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 as you bring three. up frogs, yeah. wish upon a frog. <laughs> 
Hey, I tell you what, it's it's working though. It's great strategy because everybody sees the lucky frogs and they know what it is. And yeah, yeah. like even my son, he could pull some poo poo garbage out of a pack, but as long as he has a card that has a lucky frog on it, he thinks that's the best card in the world. Right. Yeah. Energy drink. Wow, I need that card in my life. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, there's lots of good mechanics in this set too. So it's gonna definitely open up the gameplay quite a bit. Frog, Frog dispenser, dispenser. <laughs> jam session. I like that. Or show off. So are these like the item cards or trainer card equivalent? Um, these are spell cards. So think of it more in magic terms, where you can play like an yeah. instant or a sorcery. That's kind of what these are. And okay. then with the the red <laughs> and white sword and shield combo, that's equipment. I hope Fanny Pack gets a full art. Um, yeah, I, like I don't think that it, it might get like a secret shards equivalent when he starts secret shards back up, but that card is actually going to be really, really playable. Yeah, I like it lets you as well. Yeah, yeah. Unheat is a good one. Um, have they announced anything with the secret shards yet either? So I know mm-hmm. he's not completely doing away with them, but they're kind of nope, going on a hiatus, switching things up, he's just revamping deal. it from. And, and that's all I know is that um, Secret Shards 16 is the last monthly subscription. And the only thing outside that is, um, oh, there's Laser Barrier. That's that's my favorite art card right there. Yeah, that's pretty um, cool too. The only thing I know is he said he's going to start doing some bundles with all of the previous Secret Shards or like a few of them at a time to create like a good bundle deal. From like Sanctuary. Hands. Polywog. So yeah, I was going to ask about that stamp. <laughs> Yep, is that it was just a, another stamp? That was a crossover with Polywog. So before Polywog kind of like said they're putting a pause on all their production and all that, they came up with this collab crossover. Hmm. Nice. I feel like we saw that in another TCG too, and I can't remember which one it was now. So oh, this is, it was, it was Nostalgix. The they yeah. did that crossover. Um, uh, it was like a Secret Shards thing, uh, but it wasn't Secret Shards, I don't think. I don't, you remember what I'm talking about? No. Ah, oh, my God. They did the... It was with, like, the comic book thing. Oh, oh, you're talking about... Um... Oh, Beast... Uh... Beastlands. Was Beastlands. It? Beastlands. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dude, look I at all these it... voids. They're so good. I was going to say, we're, yeah, at, we're at the voids now. Great. You got Hardy right there. Um, So that'll be pretty cool. See, so, yeah, she they might not give her, the like, an actual hollow on it if... Uh, well, I don't know. Yeah, I guess I it know. still seems weird not to do a hollow for it. But, um, Sergeant Surge looks absolutely like oh, badass. Just, in my just wait. Papito looks terrifying. Oh yeah, we'll my god! One. King Frigus Diesel. That's that uh, is probably my chase card. Honestly, though, I like that unlucky frog too. Like, yeah. Oh man, come on, Zaba. Why? Look, I mean, like, look at them all. They're all Devante so good. Morte looks awesome. The Neo Delios one. Oh man. Yeah, these look amazing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so another gold card. Yeah. So Turnip is the gold card, which is going to obviously be like the big chase one in 777 packs. But if you guys remember from the base set, they had um, a hero car, a hero card called Shiga which Mm -hmm. was only in a void rare form. You couldn't pull it any other way, just the void rare. So Vargas is that same type of concept here where he Mm -hmm. doesn't have a normal hero card. He only comes in void rare. So he's going to be like the second Uh, hardest one to pull. Very cool. I mean, the art looks absolutely amazing for this set. I'm looking forward to it. I'm glad I, you know, it's good. Bought some boxes. Yeah. I haven't, I haven't officially placed my order yet, but I definitely want to get at least probably a case. Um, that's what I did. I'm almost tempted to go How many just a cases, couple more though? boxes. Oh, I would only go one whole case at most. Um, I, I know. I think Ren got multiple cases. Oh no, no. I just picked up the one for now. I'm, I'm probably going to buy more later on, but I just got the one for now. Man, Ren, it's almost better to just bite the bullet now. I know. Yeah, it's, but it's hard PayPal to get the offers that six months fight. Wow. PayPal Listen, offers the six months I am months not a rich man, man by any means. I can't. Look, man. Look. Sell one of your children. I would go work the corner, but I'm sure people would pay me to get off the corner instead of anything look, else. Hey, that's still payment, dude. That's still making yeah. money. Yeah, that's that's true. Twenty that's bucks true. is twenty bucks. 
<laughs> exactly. That's also true. So what I was going to say, though, is you open yourself a credit card, right? With one of those, like, you know, zero money for with the initial purchase. You drop a massive order. You say nothing to anybody. And you just pay on it, you know, over 18 months. That's what you do. So Mrs. He's Ren's wife, as you specialist. watch this, do not. I don't, as you watch this, I don't, yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I was going to say, any don't other anybody fans, listen, man. don't anybody listen look, to Grumpy. Look, hey, I'm just saying, if you if you can he's, if you can make the payments, you know, look, hey, hey, <laughs> I'm not telling you you got to. I'm just saying, if you have the ability to make payments, maybe consider it. He's know? not a disabled vet yet. He's not making any money. Yeah, it's not a smart yeah. move to go yeah. in go into debt for cards. I mean, it's just not. I don't know. I've really I've heard a lot of stories about people who do it, but. Yeah, and where mean, are they now? Just because people do it doesn't mean they should do it. You remember, you remember during uh, the peak COVID stuff, all the people who were getting in trouble for their, taking um, their like government loans they were getting like for oh, yeah. cards and spending like fifty thousand dollars at a time on cards. God, yeah. yeah, like the the cojones it would take to make that decision. God. Well, it's really not that surprising coming from somebody who worked in the legal department in the military. Because I couldn't tell you how many times we've actually court-martialed and kicked out generals for spending their government travel card money in mm -hmm. a strip club or something to that effect. It yeah. happens often. Yeah, I, well, I remember funny, though, those are still linked military. to your credit. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> when I was in the military, right. and they were like, "You want to like, oh, you have to get this travel card." I was like, "Okay, you can only use it." I was like, "Don't tell me how I can use it. I know you fuckers." I'm not using it at all. I'll spend my own goddamn money. They're like, well, it's much more difficult to 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 do that. I was like, I don't 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 pay me back then. I don't oh, care. Yeah, because I'm not the fucking military touching will, that thing. They will take that shit from you in a heartbeat. The moment yeah. you owe them two See, cents, man, they're taking they, fifty bucks. Your butthole, super tight, right? And they the the big dick of the military, <laughs> fucking no spit, nothing, just. <laughs> Well, that's why that they call it, you know, the big blue weenie in the Air Force and the big green weenie in the Army. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what they call it in the Navy. Uh, Friday. It's a normal Tuesday, I guess. But... <laughs> <Yeah>. It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that we got a rundown of how the military system works, uh, for those of you who are thinking about joining, maybe reconsider. <laughs> Just you can come talk to Gonzo and I if you really want to join, and we'll, we'll convince yeah. you otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, don't apparently, get, don't get uh, I love that's all. That's all the baby. convincing I needed was to do that. I'm like, no, I'm good. Thanks. Yes, yeah. and apparently uh, we dodged a bullet there. So yeah, yeah. Uh, you I, know what else listen. you couldn't convince me to do is uh, to buy more Pokemon Funkos. I'm pretty much uh, done with those. So. I didn't. I didn't need any convincing. Yeah. I ordered three of these. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, dude. They were like three of the. Guess, wait, three Espeon or. Three, three of this right here, yes, the Espeon, the flocked Espeon. Why? Why did why you would need you, three why of them? Need three of them. Because I figured it's Espeon, so it's, it's one of the evolutions, and it's flocked. And the way the original evolutions went for their Diamond series, you couldn't get them afterwards. So I was like, "Well, mm, Grumpy is I'm a scalper gonna... confirmed." Well, that's why I was thinking. First about of all, multiple, first so of all, I would like to put released. it out there <laughs> that whenever this happens, I am considered the guy who's like the hey. I really want this, but I'm too lazy to go get it myself. If you find you it, only let me hear know. that from, and that's what I do. So, so just saying, <laughs> just saying. I think I've sent everyone in here. I've sent the the Funkos that they weren't able to get at some point in time. Just saying, just saying. I mean, so, that is true. You you no sent me some Harry Potter, uh, Harry Potter Funkos before. Harry Squatters, yeah, I've sent you uh, some Harry Potter. All right, so is this the only one that came out though? No, so just, you know, another picture right there. Flock, super cute. Also, during the announcement for the um, the advent calendar, this year's advent calendar, which I would blow this up, but I can't because it's Twitter. But someone saw the back of it, and there is an Umbreon, which means the Umbreon is confirmed. It's just Ooh. a matter of when. So um, I think that is most of the evolutions. That, Maybe that would all be of all of them at that yeah. point. Yeah. So you've got so, so you okay. got um what, I thought I had the so you got, up, I you got uh Score Bunny, Score Bunny, Alakazam, Dragonite, Pidgeotto. Is that Pidgeotto? Oh, either I think? tiny. Yeah, it's Pidgeotto. Well, Pidgeotto and that's the crappy thing. Yeah. These are the, yes. the tiny. Yeah, ones, that is Pidgeotto. So. Score Bunny. Lucario is cool. Arcanine? Is that an Arcanine? Yeah, Arcanine was announced uh 
recently. Oh, so oh, Arcanine yeah, Arcanine yeah. was yeah, Arcanine was no. Really, I uh, I think you can actually buy it. I I think it was yeah. announced slash released maybe like a nice. couple months ago. Yeah. Uh, huh. I don't I don't cover all the Funkos because you guys usually get annoyed about it. So I just haven't bought Funkos in a while. So yeah, yeah. I don't really want to so, buy any Funkos. So. Um, I'll yeah, buy you they, a Funko. I'll buy you. But this. these are cool. These are cool. well. So, I, I, I like the, the Umbreon though. I like that one. The only thing I dislike about the advent calendar is just the concept that they're smaller versions. And so then yeah. you have 24 minis sitting out. Yes. Like they're not in a box. Yeah. You can't like stack them on anything. Oh, now yeah, they do right. come with stands. What? If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if Gonzo, if you can they come with like little, sure. little circular stands. Yeah. yeah. So they, they are like going to be able to stand they're not like a, oh if it gets knocked over type of deal like they should be pretty stable but well even still, regular size funkos have stands in it people just don't fucking know uh, they either don't them. take them out of the box or they're too stupid they just think oh that has feet let me put it down <laughs> uh they really? I, the only thing yeah open it up <laughs> i've never i've never taken any of my funkos out so yeah, neither neither have i doing it? Seen, yeah hell no do it Right. The only they thing I do not they like about this advent calendar is it tells you exactly what you're getting. It takes away all the fun. Well, out all of, of them do me. that though. Not all, well, not like the 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 ones you can make a scene out of. They show you like one or two things. You, yeah, you get, like, there there are some where they're more mystery. Like they show most you five of these of the days. Though, are like actual yeah. like full reveals. Which and they did it for so they did they always do the same ones. It's usually like Dragon Ball Z, um, yeah. uh, Harry Potter. This. Uh, Obviously, Star Wars. Pokemon. Yeah, Star Wars yeah, is another Wars. one. And there's like maybe one or two more that they pretty much always come out with. And it's, yeah. you know, this type of setup where they're just like, here's everything. And so I don't know if the other Funkos, like the other lines have. The well, same I was talking thing about advent people... calendars in general. If like uh, the one that I got last year, the ones that came with packs of cards, three pack fun packs uh, and some singles. They yeah, come you know with the actual figures and Pokemon everything. one, though. Yeah. Well, that's that that's one. the difference. So that's that's Pokemon. This is Funko. Funko doesn't yeah, yeah. give a shit about a mystery. <laughs> yeah, which is a shame because I well, like with my when I do it with my son, he wants the mystery. Well, the only reason I'm cons like I guess surprised at least on their end of this is the fact that all the other Funkos are already released besides the Umbreon. So yeah. now you just got the wave of people being like, "What the fuck?" Like, yeah, you know. Where's the where's the embryon at, bro? I mean, so, jokes on you. That is here. the embryon. Yeah, that, I mean, they, they could out. do that. You would think, but like, think about how long it's taken them to put out the last two that they needed. So now, you know, the um, Espeon. I, I couldn't even announced. tell you what the last two were. Was well, Espeon? I mean, embryon. you know, you know that they're going to make the bigger versions of it. I mean, it's just a yeah. matter of time. Well, see, that's why I haven't bought any of the ones that have released besides a couple, um, because I'm like, well, most of them end up getting a special version, which is usually either the diamond, the flock, whatever. And I would rather just buy that one rather than have three mm -hmm. of the same one. But right. then the special ones typically are quick release and they end up selling out. And so that's why I'm just like, I don't know what to do. So I, I haven't bought any of the other evolutions besides um, the original three when they first came out when before I was like really heavy into collecting them. And then um, 187, I believe, hooked me up with the Flareon and Jolteon diamond ones. So I don't have the Vaporeon. But that's why I jumped on the Espeon one because I was like, well, I don't know how fast it's going to sell out. So I got multiple so that, you know, should any of you guys want one or whatever, I'm like, okay, well, I have it, the extra, you know. Um, but I have all the regular ones except the Umbreon for obvious reasons. I just have the obvious reason there, Gonzo. Real just so we know. Oh, because uh, your mom loves me. Oh, so she doesn't. <laughs> I don't. She's the gatekeeper of Umbreon? She's, she's the gatekeeper of Umbreon. God, I'm gonna have to talk Dang, to her because yeah. that's not cool. Yeah, tell I mean, her to call me back. I miss her. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'll I'll let her know. She she may not be interested anymore. I don't know. I've heard bad reviews. Um, <laughs> the money ran out, so yeah, she had to go tell, with somebody else. I'll resub. <laughs> I promise. <God. laughs> All right, moving on to uh. A library art exhibition, something more wholesome than Gonzo. Um, oh, I try. I could, I could ruin it for you. Give me a second. <laughs> oh, hold on. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me undo that so that. Oh, it's still there. Damn it. All right. Anyways, um, so nice. Pokemon China has collaborated with the Shanghai Library to hold a special Pokemon card original painting interactive art exhibition. Holy shit, that's a lot. 
Um, so there's going to be <laughs> different things going on, but you can get a Rowlet promo card with a unique Shanghai Library logo stamp. So here's the video. Um, I don't think there's sound, so I'm not going to worry about the sound. Uh, maybe there is sound. I don't know. I can't hear it. I'm so not hearing anything. You guys can't either. So. I don't hear anything. I don't hear any sound, um, yeah. But this would be cool to see. I'd love if, you know, some places near me would do this. Unfortunately. That's actually really cool. Yeah. So yeah. They're basically, they're blowing up all the cards and putting them up on display. Oh, that was pretty cool. If you guys, if they've reached out to us and said, you guys are invited, but you have to dress up like Pokemon, would you do it? Easy. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Does it mean or I have you... to go to China? Yeah. Oh no, that's no for me, dog. Yeah. I mean, are they going to China? Are they, no. are they sent? But I like. Are they gonna, you know, fly you out to China? Because if they do that, it's hell yeah, fully I'll paid for. Well, come on, though. It's China. There's I'm not, like I'm not a 50, going to 50 chance they might not even let you leave the country again. Yeah. I ain't going there. Nope. Not I even mean, a little bit. Yeah, I, I probably yeah, would I not actually be right too. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're probably um, right. But yeah, no, it looks pretty cool though. I wish I could go see something like this. Um, yeah, I mean, if, it is cool. Like if this yeah. was anywhere else, well, maybe not anywhere else. If this was in this the Russia States somewhere, I'd probably. Yeah, I'm not going to Russia either. Sorry. <laughs> well, if I'm you go probably to Russia, not going don't... anywhere into the Asiatic regions right now. Well, it's cool if you go to Russia. You, you hopefully there's another super villain they can release because then we'll just get you back. <laughs> yeah. I wonder yeah. how much that card's going to go for. I don't know. I I mean, it's just Rowlet, so... Yeah. But there's a stamp on it's it. It's the collector thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's Chinese, and it's got a stamp on it that you can't get anywhere mm. else, so people are going to go nuts. So my, my only thing on it would be, it would definitely depend on how rare it is. You know what I mean? Like, say if there's only 1,000, you know. Yeah. But if there's, like, 20,000 that are given out, it might not be that big a deal. Yeah. I wonder, Speaking I wonder of, if there's any the uh those Unagaba evolution cards uh I think are selling as a set for like in the hundred dollar range now. So I'm just like damn it. I bought one. I didn't Maybe want the whole set, coming. I just wanted one and I got it before before the prices blew up overnight. See, I just I, I can't I like justify. them, I just don't care that much. Like I don't, I don't care enough to. Well, I only like, spent ten dollars really... on mine, so like it really wasn't. Yeah. Oh, that's not that bad. bad. Yeah. Well, and see, that's the thing yeah. though. Like at ten dollars for one singular, you're like, oh, okay. But then when you think about the fact, there's what nine of them, mm -hmm. you know, and like certain ones are probably more valuable. So it's like I don't know. But yeah, I know the those... Umbreon one is going for like sixty, seventy bucks right now. Jesus. I bought the vape. I mean, I feel like I could just draw my question. own. Really, if I wanted to, I could just draw my <laughs> own. Well, actually, we'll we'll get to it, but that uh. That Charmander that they released, somebody turned that into a Unagaba drawing. I saw that. That was hilarious. And I was like, damn, that actually looks pretty good. That was hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, um, yeah. So, uh, uh, what about 151? Yeah. How's so, there's looking? there's multiple releases for the 151 stuff. Um, we'll start with the uh, what I call the cream of the crop. Um, so, we'd already seen this uh, Tangela here, but now... And, you know, here's uh, suit on, one. not not here to see his fossil Pokemon. Um, that one is really uh, good, though. I really yeah. enjoy the art on that. Yeah, I, it's not it my so favorite, good. but I like it. Like, it's got very chill vibes about it, you yeah. know? So it's like, I can't really, you know. I yeah, have it's just something about it that about feels sure. unique to me. I think it's but, the coloring. Like, it makes you feel like you're also you might be. Under I got to point something out. Yeah, I would use my I want to I want to use my mouse, but I'm not going to. But where the two water symbols are. And you've got that shell. They look like eyes. Yeah. They look like it's trying to make an Ammonite. Or like <laughs> yeah. almost like Gary from SpongeBob. I was getting, yeah, Gary from SpongeBob. That's what I was <laughs> like that say. shit is That's freaking good. me out right now. That's I'm just funny. like, what the hell? <laughs> I wonder if they do that stuff on purpose. Like if they look at it and they're like just a little bit lower, perfect. Perfect. You know, well, I mean they well, make I'm the sure some without, uh, sometimes text on it. True. Um, yeah, but, but yeah, once so... they put once they put the text on it, I'm sure they do that at some point. Like every once in a while they have to think about the text. But yeah, you got the got the Kabuto in the back, uh, Ammonite and Amistar up there. So it's um, it's an Ammonite card for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I you know, we're suit on here to like just rave over this and just be all like, oh my god, the greatest thing ever. But anyways, then you this got Nidoking. This, uh, Nidoking. Is that is the card so I think is the most cool. impressive. It's very random though. I don't know why. I just don't take it for like being in the jungle. Yeah, but look at him though. He's badass. Look, he's, he's so just looking at you looking. like he knows he's the shit. 
I mean, sure, yeah. I'm not saying he's not. I mean, you know, king for a reason. I'm just, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Damn. I just... it, it is. Uh, it, this one brings back a, like, this one definitely has yeah. a lot of nostalgia feel to it just because yes. of the art and coloring on it. Mm-hmm. This one's so Well, it's got the good. same styling as the Kabuto, like that little rainbow effect that's on it. Yeah. That definitely mm-hmm. plays into it. Which is on all the cards, Ren. Just FYI. Yeah. Oh, maybe it's, maybe they're just trying to compensate for the foil that's going to be on it. I yeah, think it could looks be. pretty sweet, though. That could be true. Yeah, that's a good point. But yeah, no, I definitely like that. I don't see... Now, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing it, but it seems like a lot of times these cards are not solely focused on one Pokemon. They kind of like drop another one somewhere. But I don't see that mm-hmm. in this one. It's probably because like in yeah. some of the dex entries, they talk about how Nidoking is very territorial. So that's and if you look, there's a tree branch broken, so it's probably marking its territory, and that's why it's looking at you to get the fuck out. She's got anger <laughs> issues. Yes, probably. Yeah. yeah, yeah, makes sense. I like him now. Supposedly, word on the street is that this card has, I think, seventeen Pokemon on it. I only counted sixteen, but so oh, Mister. Wow. Okay. Hey, All right, hold on. You got uh, Gengar in the corner. So who's the who's going to keep the tally? I guess we'll. All right, I'll, we got I'll, two Pidgeys. I'll keep the tally. Okay, Oh, oh my god! Do it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have one Butterfree? Gengar, Butterfree. We're going to start from the we'll top here, and then we'll move down to the yeah, bottom. Yeah. Yeah, we'll start start at the top. Butterfree, Pidgey. Two Pidgeys. Well, two Pidgeys. You got both versions of the Nidoran. Nidoran. Yep. Blastoise, Pikachu, Slowpoke, Mr. Mime, Psyduck, Growlithe. Uh, scroll um, down. Jigglypuff, um, Gengar. That's wait, wait, all I count. Scroll up a little bit. Now, hold on. There's there's something else. There's a Caterpie uh, on the girl's head that's on the right of the card. Is that a yeah, Caterpie? What's, oh, oh, yeah. Right yeah, yeah, Caterpie. What's all the way on the left? Over uh, here? On top of the... Yeah, on top of the Psyduck. Behind that, like, the glass or whatever. Um, what is that? It looks like a shadow. But it's it's hard to tell. Uh, I can't yeah. I can't zoom can in, you, unfortunately. No, I was going to say, can you zoom in more but. There's got to be a flabebe in one of those flower beds there. I just see, see that's what I was reaching for is like one of the flower things where I was like, oh, because I started looking down here too. I, we I only counted it. 14 so far. Um, mm. did you so did you count the Pidgey twice? Like yes, Pidgeys? so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14. I don't know. Someone said 16, I think, or 17 online. Um, but I couldn't see it. That's yeah, I don't I don't see it either. Like the, um, the feather in the in the old lady's hat looks like the feather thing you would see on the gulpin, but I don't see a gulpin. Yeah. Like I almost thought there was something in here because someone had a really enhanced uh picture. They like, you know, you could zoom in really far. And I thought it, but I was like, I can't really make it out, so I don't know. Um, so hmm. let us know if you do, you know, actually know the true count. Um, but this is a really cool card. I like that when they do these, like have a full on scene, you know, yeah. um, a bunch of different Pokemon. It's like really paints the picture of what it would be like to have Pokemon in real life. Well, the false idea of what it would be like to have Pokemon in real life. Because yeah. uh, all those could kill awesome. you right there. <laughs> the <laughs> dream world scenario. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is like Detective Pikachu in real life. Yeah. Um, but but, yeah. but I'm hoping because some of these uh, art cards, usually if one line gets it or one Pokemon gets it, they give it to the whole line. So I'm hoping Raichu would get that kind of love for this set. Um, I mean Raichu's got the one card where he's like sleeping or whatever, right? So, uh, that's for how they evolved. Well, that's all you're gonna get, bud. Now, is <laughs> that Raichu. lady with the Caterpie? <laughs> no on Raichu. Head? The lady with the Caterpie on the head is that a Ditto? Oh yeah, that's what someone oh, said. That there's a ditto. Yeah, yeah. it's a ditto. Oh, yeah, that's that's probably ditto. Yeah, it kind of does look like one. <laughs> it is a ditto because look at the other humans; they got actual faces. And then well, ditto. I don't know. Well, look no, right there's above a Pikachu's dude. Tail. There's a dude in the back that doesn't have that's got the ditto eyes too. Yeah, yeah. that one. Oh uh, yeah. So maybe not no, this this one wearing the glasses. You never know. It's Team Rocket. <laughs> well, that's yeah. what it was in Detective Pikachu. Is weren't the ditto was wearing sunglasses? That's true. Because a ditto yeah. face. So I that's don't know. true, but yeah, this is really unique. I love this. This was this was really cool. Uh, good it job to card, Yamamoto. Sure. Um, excellent work. Uh, mega thumbs up. All right, moving on mm. to uh, the other 151 side of things. Uh, Wigglytuff, um, I think, and Jigglypuff both were officially announced. 
Um, nice. We can run through just to see if there's anything else, but I'm pretty sure most of these we'd already seen. The Parasect, yeah. Extra Tight Belt, Magmar, Electabuzz. That Electabuzz so art is so sick. It definitely is. Yeah, yeah. The hands are honestly kind of creepy because they're yeah. very like villainesque and like real <laughs> realistic. Yeah, like that shit's kind of freaking me out. It's like when you're when you're like going to sleep and you have a door that's cracked or something and you start to picture like a set of fingers coming around it. That's your sleep paralysis demon. Jesus. Yeah, I'm just like no, no, I don't. I don't oh, you would have the like buzz comes to haunt and grumpy at night. Uh, scroll yeah. back up really quick to uh, Magmar. Yeah, they both have that attack. So you ha you would have to play these two cards together. If Electabuzz is on your bench, does more damage. If oh, Magmar's yeah. on the bench, do more damage. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. They should like, they should have done combo. something with like a flashback of the episode versus Scyther, where it's like if you're going against the Scyther, it does more damage. Hmm. They still got to make the cards knowledge. competitive, though. You know, yeah. or do something yeah. to try to make them competitive. Creepy Radicate, um, Tauros. Pincer, actually like that pincer yeah, I think artwork there. Nasty Dragonite. Dragon. Dragonite. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah, look at that. Is that a reprint? It looks like I, it, but it, it looks like a reprint of the full art that we just had, but from like hmm. a different angle. Well, the it kind of looks like the alternate art that came out. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. That's the what alternate I mean. art I'm is sorry, like sleeping Daddy. or something, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I mean, they don't really it, give this Dragonite one woke too up much from love, its nap. you know, with its They really don't, though, you know? But... Yeah. But I love he's it. so, I'm gonna he's go so friendly. It. You got to sleep with him. Just sleep on its belly. <laughs> don't be just every, anyway. every guy in the friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. I really like that Hitman Lee, too. I think it's, I like yeah. the action shots like that. It's, it's about hurt. to kick yeah. your head off. Yeah. It's like um, you and Chuck Norris. Yeah. 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 As Chuck Norris goes to do it, you just hear like all his <laughs> muscles track. ripping. There's like, <laughs> ah, old man down. Uh, I do not like the legs on that bee drill. Yeah, that looks kind of <laughs> creepy. Golly, and like, I don't like. I love bee drill, but this artwork legs. does not do anything for it. It's just, it's weird. I don't know. Uh, Meowth looking pretty cute. Clefable. Oh wait a second. Oh, I thought this said swallow. I was like, it's a weird, <laughs> weird attack. <Yeah>. Clefairy <laughs> five. <laughs> You're not getting me today, HR. Um, Hitmonchan. <laughs> yeah, you're on your second strike there, Gonzo. Don't make us oh, look at that Vaporeon. Take you out. Yeah, I mean, well, that almost looks like a reprint card, too. It, they, That's a reprint. kind of do. Sure. Like a reprint. I was going to say, because that looks it's like very something from uh, for... Late Sun and Moon. But to be fair, with Vaporeon, they do they give it the Dragonite treatment, where they only give it like three different poses for all of its cards. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, this looks like something straight out of Detective Pikachu set. Yeah, it does. Um, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Snorlax. it. Snorlax. Wow, Snorlax taking a nap. Who would have thought? Um, <laughs> Against the tree. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Gonzo, is that you not fun. the word you said earlier? Yeah. Yes. Interesting. Fodder. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Uh, ditto. I like that ditto. Why is he just hanging sure. out with rocks? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, He's all like, hello. Moltres. Wait a minute. Arcuno. Why why is Zapdos getting the EX and then the other two aren't getting anything? Because Zapdos I mean, is the best of the three. Zapdos Wouldn't they want to just give them all three an EX? I mean, I would why? think. They, these two probably get a badass like Seeker Rare and this troll monster yeah. probably just gets the... Well, see, <laughs> I hate that, like my my um, my um, Use your word. Jesus. Today, what am I thinking Junior? of? What am I thinking <laughs> of? It's, it's not even. Like, it's it's not <laughs> equal. Uh, yeah, no, it's not even. We want equity. <laughs> we want equity for the Pokemon. Jesus, I got uh, I got words for you, Grumpy. Later, I won't say it on the podcast. Chancy, so. Chancy yeah, Ch like, even Chancy. Jinx gets an EX. Okay, <laughs> Jinx is, what the hell is that about? This is this is. Oh, horrendous. she just I, gave you seven shots of tequila at the bar, and she's like, "It's my move. It's go time." <laughs> All right. Yep. Even, even her ability. Hold part. on. Look at those <laughs> eyes! Oh, he's he's That's straight up peeking right into oh, this, that window. Yeah, I was peeking, gonna say he's peeping peep, Tom. Peeping Tom, look at him go! God, this is this is banned before it even gets released. Well, he <laughs> he already kidnaps <laughs> children. They made a whole episode about it. <coughs> That's true. Ah, uh, yeah. He steals I mean, their dreams. Yeah. 
golly, bro, the drowsy line, something's wrong. I'm like, look, and like that window has a light on. Window. God. <laughs> Good. And he's he's it's, licking his lips. It's the eyes, yeah. It's the it's the creepy ass eyes. Oh my god, this uh, the drowsy line is just <laughs> on a next <laughs> level, bro. Ability, <laughs> King's level. If you have a uh, Needle Queen in play, ignore all energy in this Pokemon attack cost. That's broken. Ooh, oh, that's that good. is broken. It's good. That's Sibber. four energy for free for a one ninety attack. Well, wow. just for having something in play, yeah. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now in their poison. That is that's broken. Well, it depends yeah, on how have, easy it's going to be to not... get the Nido Queen out. But yeah, 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 we haven't even seen a Nido Nido Queen yet. Yeah, maybe it's not in there. It now. would be oh, broken yeah. be... if they make it an EX, and you can just you can play Nido Queen straight up as a basic Pokemon. Oh, no, I think I think uh, EX is you have to evolve, like V Maxes oh. and Vs. We we go well, back v, to an evolve. V's you don't have to evolve. You could have no. like Charizard V and just slap it out. No, that's what I'm saying. V Max is you had to evolve in from the V's. Yeah. So I, and EXs I you you have to evolve into from the regular like Need Arena and Need Arena cards. Do you really? Yeah. I, I haven't really looked at the EXs too much. I have uh, I thought I had the EX up here. Over here. Yeah. yeah, I, I have the have Gyarados one. EX card. Yep. You have to. Hey, you, well, what, can't show why do they even have the bills transfer stuff anymore? They don't do that anymore. Like you just, you just have a box. You just stuff your, stuff your Pokemon in. Like the last like four games did that. They, we don't do this bills stuff. Yeah. Right. Well, they're it's trying true. to get back to the OG stuff. That's why they're hitting on this. Oh no, they're not. Point. No, they're not. Because you know why? They're not about to make those games like they used to. Could you imagine the kids of today's generation? Oh, I know. I know. It's soft and easy. Oh my games. God! My opponent beat my ass. <laughs> I don't want to play this no more. Your opponent. Just wait till you get to the wild Pokemon in like route three. Well, I'm just thinking about your first <laughs> battle when you choose your Pokemon and then like your, your uh, frenemy person is just like, oh yeah, I chose one that's strong against you. Good luck, dipshit. And you're just like, okay. They proceed to curb stomp you. Yeah. I'm just like, sweet. Love that. This world. Whack. I can't get out of the first battle. I get, I, <laughs> I, I, yep, there it is. Lonely little Cubone. I know. Just... I'm surprised but, they don't have the keybone crying. I mean, that's like every other card they put out yeah, for it. There's exactly. an Aerodactyl. I actually like this hollow too. That looks like it would be I, pretty cool. I don't. I'm not, I'm not a fan well, of that art. I don't care for it. All right. Well, Sudon, I know would appreciate it. Um, so Sudon, got you, brother. <laughs> um, Weeping Bell, so on and so forth. Uh, we've already seen all of these, you know. I yeah. think we saw like a lot of the ones we already looked at too, but you know, just quick uh quick walk down you know memory lane here uh it's pretty cool kabutops um kabuto actually kind of look cool too um is that in the water too like in the other one yeah yeah he's on I an ocean bed i can't click on it so none of these are clickable great love that uh i'm a star <laughs> i'm a knight so on and so forth so yeah you get the picture uh lots of reveals lots of good shit Looking forward to it. Two thumbs up. Uh, probably not gonna be able to get our hands on the on the other stuff there, uh, unfortunately, like the Japanese one because, you know, scalpers love that. Yeah, for us. yeah. they're already selling the boxes for one hundred and fifty dollars. Why not one fifty one? Yep. <laughs> Missed opportunity. I think Missed some, opportunity there. I think I saw someone selling singles for like ten bucks a pop. Jesus. Wow. What? Why? I'll wait till like the English packs, comes you out. Mean? Like yeah. The packs. Yeah, single pack for ten dollars. Jesus, I just I know uh, Jay Jay's Corner TCG one of the one of the ripping shippers I trust and I buy from very regularly. He's going to be doing uh, a ripping ship of one fifty one, and I think he's going to be selling as a two pack for eleven bucks, which doesn't seem too bad to me compared to yeah. one for ten. Yeah, so I'll probably get on a couple of those because I need that right you. I just, I'm probably just going to buy how this, some singles and be it. I, I was going to say, like, depending yeah. on how this set is structured, like, that's probably just the most economically sound way to go. It'll mm -hmm. be kind of like EV, uh, EV Heroes whenever it dropped, like, yeah, except way worse, you know, because obviously the way it's looked, I think, I think they've already sold out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just the downfall with these situations is, you know, I, and the thing is, like, from, from a nostalgic purpose, right? Like, I would love to get, all you know cooler you know the uh i almost said the glarian birds um but the legendary birds you know just having the starter trio set like all those are cool i'm not like 
any more excited because there's a Charizard in it. I just obviously base set is what I grew up with. So it's like, that's all I care about. If this was a Johto set, I'd be pretty much equally as excited. Beyond that's where I would be like, eh, I I kind of hope so they much. do continue on with this train and do like a Johto only set. And then Ren, you know better. Only. You know better. I know. I listen. I'm dreaming here with a lot of other people, but <laughs> that would be that would be epic though. I would love to see Typhlosion get some get some love. For yeah, I mean, I just yeah, I feel yeah. like <laughs> I mean it would be cool just because like. It'd be kind of cool for like the eras because obviously, as Pokemon fans, we all started in an era, you know what yeah. I mean? So, like, not everyone started with Kanto or Johto or so on. So, like, there's people who obviously their first time playing the games is with um, uh, Paldea. So, you know, like for them, this is like their favorite set, probably. You know, they're going to look at us with Kanto and just play like, fucking losers. You know, like, so here's out here, old heads. I mean, with yeah. with this being like a special set, you know, like they they're not going to do that because they would need twenty years plus to make all of the sets. Like if they went one by one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, if I mean, they they did, did, yeah. yeah. If they, they did like have to, because they could make them smaller sets. You know what I mean? Rather than like in this case, it's 165 for the base of the set which is already more than 151 obviously so they already went above and beyond on the base plus the secret readers they could always make it like more of a um uh kind of like i'm trying to think of well i guess neither of those are complete sets but they could make it more like strictly the totality of the cards of like those pokemon in that region you know what i mean yeah yeah, but um, it would still take the same amount of time in order for them well, to come out with those i sets. meant more like they could put them out like um kind of like promo sets in like a way of like, oh yeah, so next month we drop this. Kind of like in uh, in 2021, they came out with every month those uh, starter packs. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. So like they could do something like that and just make it, you know, for, for this case, right? It'd be 151 total cards. That's it. You buy the, the mm. one set of cards for $30. I don't know. I'm just pulling the number out of my ass. And every month it's a $30 purchase. It comes with those X amount of cards. They have preset everything. You already know what all is in it, or they don't tell you until they, you know, release, but it's all 151 or however many is in Johto and so on. You know, you get just those amount of cards. I think that'd be cool because it would give someone like everyone a generation to, that's like their favorite they want to go after. Right. I think right. all three of us probably are like Kanto, Johto, and then maybe another one that they would be yeah. like, oh yeah, but you I really like that. What Like, you know what I mean? So but, you know, obviously we'd all probably try to collect all of them anyways. Um, you know, kind of the whole point of got to collect them all. But, right. um, but you know, in, in this case, it's just weird. Like the obsession with the Kanto stuff. And, you know, obviously we'll get into even more obsession with Kanto shortly. But I'm just like. Just the money factor. Yeah, They know they yeah. can make money off of it. It, just it would sucks. be cool, though. I mean, I like that idea. Like if they did the like the pre-created sets. Right. And then you just. Right. And then you can you, literally, I mean, if you were, wanted to collect all of them, you could have like a massive, you know, like collection of the all of the different sets yeah. and all of the different I mean, Pokemon and whatever. You figure they could even, if they wanted to take it a step further, they could create levels to how they market it. So like, for example, you know, just basic is you buy the cards and they come in some mm. sort of obviously like a like a theme deck type of deal and it's you know kanto region you know johto region so on mm -hmm. step two being like okay and with that you get maybe sleeves and then step three is like and you get a commemorative binder with like a really cool artwork on it you know whatever like and then you you know and you know not that you need all the binders but you know you'd have your people that go above and beyond and want the binders with every set and you know next thing you know right. you have what nine binders that take up all this space but I don't know. Don't ask me how to market Pokemon. You know, what do I know? Good, they, oh, didn't. they didn't. I'm just a fucking <laughs> addict over here that's trying to trying to buy it all. But also, I listen, if like they listen to their fans, we'd be going in a completely different direction, though. So, yeah. And I mean, of course, not every idea is perfect, but like, I just, I feel like you just, they, while they talk about wanting to fight off the scalping situation, they totally feed right back into it. Yeah, like they're kind of actively pouring water and gasoline onto the fire. Just like, look at the water. Look at the water. We're totally trying to stop it. And then, you know, as they're just like dousing it with gas too, just feeding it all in there. I'm just like, yeah, 
I love that you're trying to reprint everything and do all that, but you also keep doing this and they keep scalping it all up. I don't know. Scalpers be so scalpers. How, what, what are the prices looking like for um for Paldeo Evolve? As far as like, you know, like pre ordering like and buying. They're they're use they're depending on where you're getting them from, they're under market. They're under MSRP. Hmm. Which is maxes I mean, for like one ten. So yeah. Which is yeah. wild because honestly, I don't think Pal Day Evolve looks bad. I mean, I don't think so either. It, no, it reminds me. I, of I think Scarlet it looks like a good set. The you know the base set of Scarlet and Violet. It's it's just you know your same thing of really artistic the art rares you know so on and so mm-hmm. forth. It I just I don't know why it's you know, uh, but I don't know maybe in a way it's lucky that Pokemon does what they do because it helps the set that's coming out be more affordable because all of a sudden all the attention is like who gives a shit about that look at this over here the crazy thing to all to to me about scarlet and violet right now especially because people are shitting on it so bad like it's a they're terrible sets no one likes them they're doing terrible if they're so bad why is the japanese product price for it just out of fucking hand just well, everybody's because everybody's converted I think, from English to Japanese as like yeah. they're scalping. What, yeah, I was gonna say I think yeah. it's the idea that like Japanese product is considered superior, which I would agree it is, but I, I'm not gonna pay more for Japanese product than I am for English. Right. Well, and it's more like, scarce because they don't produce as much of that as they do the English side for obvious mm-hmm. reasons. And so when people realize they can capitalize that and start well, see, you know, I overpricing I it that, and people were buying it, then yeah. But that's where like them putting out numbers would be super fucking handy because right. if they put out numbers and you and even if they were just ballpark like to the nearest 50,000 units or something like that you would have a much better idea of like okay English prints x amount of times more or if it is yeah. that much more you know whatever and but that could be a double edged sword that could that could help or it could hurt I think in for our hobby at the moment it's going to hurt because then you, you have the scalpers out there just, who will go nuts for one specific card, knowing how many are out there. And then well, just you, like if they just told you the boxes and not so much like the print runs of like, cards. oh, gotcha. Well, you know what I, I mean? Like, not, yeah. not but I think the wire people can like, infer okay. or make like good guesstimations on how many of each card exists, then like a rough well, estimate. Yeah, that's the only thing that sucks though. Now is like we saw with um. Was it with the Scarlet and Violet base set when the guy was like, "Oh, if you buy a case, it guarantees you a Miriam Secret Rare." And oh, that that like, ass hat, yeah. And, and that's the thing, like because there's no data to back it outside of just basically understanding that there's no guarantees to anything. Like, right. Then you have people who are going to be like, "Oh, he said it," you know. Yeah. But like, if there was numbers behind it, at least then you'd have an argument of like, "Oh, well, you know, there's." Two million boxes that were printed, so chances are high that there's plenty of you know Miriam secret rares to go around. Like, right? And there was. Know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't. I My just buddy I don't Digi know. pulled five of them. The Japanese ones. Uh, two of those, but five of the English ones. Well, see, the English mm. ones weren't that scarce, were they? Because I know Zen mm. has a couple, and I think Ricky Smoky Desire yeah. has maybe one or two. I think yeah. they're only at like sixty bucks. Right now on TCG player, which I think is the most expensive card for the set. And that's what I don't understand is like, I don't, I don't necessarily care which language or whatever you would consider to be superior. I just, I'm going to go based off of what I know I can grab for the cheapest. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when I was buying a bunch of stuff in Japanese or Chinese or whatever, the whole idea was it's cheaper than English, you know? And I mean, I just, I like, you know, from like my Zard perspective, I like, you know, thanks to Zen over here. I got into being like, oh, there's all these languages. It'd be cool to have different, you know, languages of the same card and stuff. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, mm-hmm. I don't have like a complex of like, oh man, like I just I hate the Jap- I hate the English cards. They're not like Japanese or anything like that. I mean, I think again, like I do think Japanese is probably superior, but I I don't care enough like from a like oh I'm oh, solely value. Like you pretty much are only probably worried about value at that point if you really care. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. So it's just like, I feel like they keep doing these things with, you know, these super hyped up sets. And it's like the Japanese side is what really suffers the most. And it's it's just all a scalping thing, you know. And I, I just don't know that we're ever going to get away from it anytime super soon, even though I guess they're supposed to be doing reprints yeah. and stuff. But I just, 
you know, it again, that's where that situations like that are where I think the numbers would come in handy. Like if you knew, okay, the first print run was 250,000 booster boxes. Like, however, that is deemed compared to this set compared to that set. Like you'd be able to say, okay, there's a pretty good chance of getting your hands on some boxes. But, right. you know, if they all of a sudden drop the print run really low, like we see Metazoo do that a lot. Metazoo comes out and it's like, oh, we up the print run for this set. It's 150,000 booster boxes. And then all of a sudden the set goes absolutely trash because there's way too many. And then they're like, oh, we're dropping it down on this next one. So then people buy the shit out of that one. But there's still too many. And like, you know, it's they put out their print runs and I think they do it just to be kind of like open about it. But, right. you know, it, it's I wish Pokemon would do that because obviously they suffer the most from the scalping. Yeah. But I, I do see your point, though, that like in certain situations, I think it definitely would probably still hurt because you'd have people that could invest heavily and probably be like, well, I bought. 70 cases so i have you know a huge chunk of the market and you know blah 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 or whatever and you know but that would be your people that have crazy money people we don't really know so <laughs> not yet people we don't associate <laughs> with yeah i don't know we are any of you guys doing a pre-release for how oh, they i am i uh registered today at, at one of my local malls i'm gonna go tomorrow it'll be the first time i am playing on a tournament some well because for uh pre-releases you don't play with the full 60 card deck you play with the 40 card deck and you play with the cards that you pull uh so this is going to be fun for me uh i i have even played the tcg online uh so but i'm only i'm i'm going for research purposes uh because i'm <laughs> going to be i'm i'm going to be plugging really quick on monday after after this premieres i will be live Wow, anticlimactic. <laughs> All right. Well then. <laughs> oh wow. my god. All right. That could not have been more perfectly timed. I know. Um, it it's kind of suspicious how well timed that was. Yeah. Uh <laughs> Gonzo over there and uh with his his internet issues. Uh, <laughs> I, I like how he's still on the screen too. Just like he is still, yeah, he's still on the screen. Oh, oh there, there he goes. But um, yeah, I'm assuming what he's saying is he's gonna go live and open packs or something post our premiere here. So I heard him I mean, say I he want was it. gonna go lie. Yeah, yeah he's like gonna he's go lie. Liar. He's lying. I, I just want to know what he has to say now. I'm curious. Uh, I think he might yeah, he's back. There he is. Hey, hey hooray for internet that is shitty because of reasons. <laughs> Uh, where where did I get cut off? You, at? you tried to say I think that you, you were, were telling us how you're you're lying. You're lying about something. Oh, I'm a, I'm a liar. No, I was gonna say I'm gonna be plugging <laughs> my channel really quick because after this premieres, I'm going live with a player who. <laughs> It'd be funny if he cut out again. I, I'd be <laughs> fucking mad. Uh, no, I, I'm going live and I'm gonna be interviewing a uh, <coughs> someone who's been playing for for years on a professional level, like has gone to the Pokemon World Championships. Are you allowed to regions. reveal who it is right now? Uh, Bust the Move TCG. Uh, so he'll be on the channel. Nice. Uh, he hasn't made content in a couple years, but hey, he wants to get back into making contents, and he's been playing. So I'm going to I'm gonna do this, uh, get my feet back in the water, and if it works out, maybe I'll keep doing it. Uh, but I'm nice. excited for oh, it. Yeah. Pre-release well. uh, events are essentially what they what they are you get the packs a couple weeks early compared to actual release unless you're target well and, and these uh, if you're, if you're trying to get back into playing this is like the perfect way to do it mm -hmm. because everybody's on the same level so it doesn't yeah. matter if somebody's super experienced or not like you guys right. are all kind of coming in at the same same level yeah because you you can't use outside cards or cards from a different set it's all from this the only cards that you get extra of are energy cards that usually the uh the store provides yep. and yeah. whatever you pull in your packs which mm. most of the time you don't get anything substantial that's going to be like a, a deck breaking card it's just a bunch of random stuff yeah right yeah so let us know in the comments if you're going to any pre-releases and well i guess you would have already gone so let us know how they went if you went um and for Gonzo's channel, he's linked down below. Um, so check him out in just a couple of hours if you're watching this during the premiere. I so. plan on going completely defeated. That, that's how long it's been since I played. 
I say, just know that you're going to get the bar high in some packs. Yeah. And that's yeah. Yeah. If you go expecting only that. You're fine. Yeah. Uh, my friend, uh, Ian with Ian though, has been giving me tips all week. So I've been researching the card list and the deck list, not deck list, the, the card list. So I'm hoping to pull certain cards so I can build around those cards. And if not, I'm going to have to figure it out. <laughs> Gonzo sitting there, like looks over at the five-year-old kid next to him with that card. Hey buddy, give me that card. Trade. <laughs> yeah, you want this one? <laughs> oh, they, they won't allow you to trade. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess it depends on the trade. store because the when I went to go register today, I asked that question. He said they, they don't have an issue with it as long as it's a fair fair trade. Yeah, like and the parties, parties agree type of deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, as I say, I don't oh. see why it would matter. I mean, oh like no, most big... most places are like dead set, like you cannot trade. I've never been to a card shop that allows you to trade on a on a pre-release event. Well, maybe you're going to the wrong card shops, my guy. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Now, maybe you're just not cool. Because I've seen... Uh, <laughs> they maybe, don't want to your friend Flanders looking ass, and I've... they're like, you know what? <laughs> not you. Not I mean, you. I, not I've, today, I've watched the videos. I've watched the videos for uh, Breaking Nate, and he's... Uh, apparently, he's trading. I mean, that's yeah. Nate, though. Well, I mean... You do it. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's clearly there's a distinction between red and. Well, I mean, I've played I've played tournaments in New <laughs> you know Jersey, Alabama, and Michigan. So I, I oh, and in Ohio. So I've not had a single one. In God, Ohio. man, probably, Ren's, they, Ren's they probably just four different states. Yeah, it, they probably. Just I've done never something heard of wrong. You. It was a problem. <laughs> yeah, they never heard you. They were like Ren who? Yeah, so. yeah I don't blame them. Yeah, like Mr. Ren Flanders to you, bub. But uh speaking of how they evolved and how we we're talking about how a lot of people are shitting on Scarlet and Violet, all of a sudden Scarlet and Violet is the 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 set because of Obsidian Flames. Fucking Charmander. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Charizard um, overrated. So we a couple weeks ago when we talked about that one Charizard card, apparently that is rumored to be in this set. Yeah. Um, so we were mistaken on that, but that's honestly like I, I still don't understand how that card would release potentially that far in advance because that was like what three weeks ago now. It so was longer like, than that. It, it was not just how, like how it released so far, but it was also it wasn't Japanese, which is normally that's how the leaks come. Oh yeah, it and was, it's uh, such a ugly fucking card that almost everyone was hoping it was fake. Here's Even the us. thing though. You're, here's the thing though. That card if it's real, right? All the people that were shitting on it saying it's, oh, it's ugly. It's horrible. It's the worst fucking card. I guarantee you it comes out in this set and people are going to be It's amazing. It. Yep. Yeah. Wanna, this is the greatest card ever. And then they you, you go back like, doc, few, doc. yeah, you go on their Twitter and you go back a few tweets and they're just shitting on it. And they're like, you know, now yeah. they're just saying how amazing I will put it is. It on Why? record right now, because if I pull it, I will sell it to Grumpy. If I pull it, I'll value. burn it. No, I'm, no, I'm not I, going that hard because I know because I'm not stupid. I know how much people love Charizard. I don't like the card. I think it's ugly as fuck. I think it's horrible. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, I, will, I will put it on Facebook Marketplace to get rid of it. Just to I prove a point. Yeah, I for, for a cheap enough value, I would buy it from you, Gonzo. Mainly but just because Charizard, I'm like, and I you got the market value. But yeah. I'm I'm the definitely like that is not a card I would be willing to pay more than like five dollars for. It's just not. <laughs> but you you are you're not going to get it then. It's yeah, it's at least it. a fifty to sixty dollar card. I mean, you never know if if the pull rates aren't aren't terrible, it might not be that valuable. But I just it's well, it you does know, not come off you know, very marketable. It's a double come digit on, card. Man. But listen, you know it's gonna, gonna be all it's gonna be high. Gonna want it. It's gonna yeah. be high in price because that that Charizard and the Tyranitar should they both come in as EXs are they're kind of like shouting out the original Delta species Charizard in um, yeah Tyranitar where their their yep. alternate type is what really these are about that, though these are you not I mean? anywhere near Delta species they should not even be also, the same set. well no also, I'm saying also, the the Charizard also, like Delta species was dark type. I, and yeah. the Tyranitar is electric type. So, and here we go. There's the Tyranitar with a tear type of. Uh, I think Poke, Poke Beach made that statement too. And Poke Vault talked about it in a video why? today. This is Reverum, right? Oh, Poke Beach. Yes. Man. Why is Reverum like fucking the nasty five band, like 3D wannabe looking thing, right? I, I can't even tell what that is, to be honest with you. I don't. 
no and then these are all that. like the terrestrialized version yeah. it's definitely the uh black what in the hell yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. why, who did I was, that i was thinking that yeah someone it's kind of like the pre-release promos too yeah i i whatever i guess i don't that's not uniform. So this set drops in uh, <laughs> August 11. Um, mm-hmm. So we got quite a ways, but of course, you know, in typical fashion, we're, you know, reaching as far out as we can. Now, the mm-hmm. one thing that has me worried about that Charizard card is right here. Obsidian Flames is also said to be over 190 cards. And that one, the base set of it is like 197. So I'm just yeah. like, Ugh. like, you never this know. This is going to be a huge set. I feel like. Yeah. <sighs> but this and- are all huge sets anymore. Yeah, I'm I'm excited. I already pre-ordered my Pokemon Center Elite Trainer Brock. Elite. Trainer I mean, Brock. I just really wish they wouldn't have I mean, used a generic Charmander. Art sure. On this. Yeah. Sure. I'll give you that. Obviously, I'm just like it's not a bad Charmander art. Obviously, it's you know the one you. See no, but it's it's a Charmander art that's been around for so long, and it's just been like it's just like when if you go if you Google yeah it's a, exactly it's a, the exact it's like, same one. It's they've they've used this so many times already. Yeah. Like they couldn't put you you know draw Charmander in like a different position, and just kind of. I mean, do something shit. different with them. You know? They could have put they could have put this art on there. Like, I kind of wish they would have put that on. That would have been, been amazing. Actually, he's just he's just up against the yeah. The box, it's like he's he's in know? the box looking at you type of deal. Yeah, but we uh, we all know they they did not make that that box art for for us. They made it for the no. scalpers. For the nostalgic whores and the people who are like, oh, Charmander's well, in this set, Charizard's in this set. We this is the best set fucking ever. Well, I think oh. the cool thing about this <laughs> <laughs> that's Anyways. the Navy guy right so, there talking. So I think am, this I, box, am I wrong? Well, I, <laughs> no. I just think this box like <laughs> no, Charmander is again. a pretty uh uh what you call it, um recognizable character. Uh, yeah. Only more recognizable characters, I would say, would be like Pikachu, Charizard, uh, Eevee. Eevee. Yeah. So, you know, obviously there's, there's more, but I just, you know, the top ones you can think of. So this one is one, in my opinion, is it, sitting on a shelf is going to draw a lot of eyes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, whereas, and, like, you know, the other one having Maridon and Karidon is a little less eye catching, I guess. But yeah. How, I don't many, know. how many did you pre order? <clears throat> just one? Just two. I, so I, normally I don't, but since this, as it stands, is a single box rather than how mm-hmm. they've been doing the double sets, yeah. I was like, oh, cool. So I actually might open one so I can have the Pokemon Center uh, card. Yeah, that uh, the version and yeah. then have one sealed. Um, I don't know. I might not open uh, both because I'm I get tight about stuff like that. So the, and, That's and what I'm doing, too. I, I bought two for the same almost for the same reason, mostly because. Like I said, I'm not an uh, idiot. I know how much people want like this it. fucking card. So if I ever get super broke on money, I'm like, I guess I'll sell this bitch because it's gonna. I guarantee, <laughs> I yep. guarantee this this uh, ETB once it's released or confirmed or whatever, it like the the basic one's gonna be like sixty seventy dollars, and then the Pokemon exclusive will probably be seventy to ninety dollars. And see, that's kind of yeah. what I bought two just so I could open one and keep one sealed. But I that's, honestly yeah. might just keep both of them sealed and go for the basic one because you get the same promo. Yeah, it's just the yeah. difference in the stamping on it. Yeah. Well, um, no, which yeah. you could probably well, buy only, this on what? I was going to say that the difference is you get two instead of one and one does come yeah, with the stamp. But, but then I think one stamp the, doesn't do anything for me. No, well, I'm just I, I more from it. like if you're, you know, I'm going to grade it type of deal. Like, obviously, this would be yeah. in theory. I'll end up, I am, like, I'm so, grading for. If if I don't open one of mine, I'll just likely end up buying the promo for like well, ten bucks online. And that's what I'm kind of debating on doing is having the two sealed and again more of like a, like I was telling uh, Gonzo with like the mm-hmm. Espions. If nobody was to be like, oh, you know, I missed out on it type of deal, then I have it more for like trade leverage. I'm not big yeah. on selling. I'm also not big on trading, but I'd be probably more willing to probably trade depending on what was being offered. Um, I'm slowly getting but- into trading with people online. But it, it takes like I'm not gonna do it with fucking Joe Schmo who's like yeah who no, it's DMs gotta be somebody like, trustworthy hey. yeah it's gotta be someone I've been talking to for a couple couple weeks couple months like like you guys I'll trade with uh, there's a handful of people I'll trade with but it's not gonna be like hey I start following you I like your content you want to trade uh, yeah. no no I don't 
but no, I, uh, I, I definitely, I think I want to get this booster box too. I mean, obviously it's literally the whole Charizard line. So it's like, as a well, Charizard You, you fan, have to, yeah. But it, I mean, I've skipped, I've skipped like even like Brilliant Stars to give you an idea. Granted, Charizard wasn't on it, but it was a Charizard set. So it's like, yeah. you could argue I should have, but yeah, I mean, you know, here's the, here's a product line, you know, your standard stuff, got Houndstone and Eevee. I don't know why you'd pick Eevee random considering you have houndstone as the other one it's but, just yeah. like every other promo they throw in them yeah they're just like oh we haven't used eevee well in i mean look at for set. the base set okay. they had yeah. growlith and don dozo yeah they yeah I, i'm I mean, pretty sure they, they just throw Tommy. random names now, in a, in a this is one they should have done the three promo line they should have yeah. done the whole yeah, line right? for this but mr makes pokemon. more sense come on man like mr pokemon this isn't your your first run but then you choose this then you choose this. Ooh, I like the Annihilate, though. Well, I mean, Annihilate cool. is so fucking good in game. But like, we already had Mankey and Primate. I Why? almost have one in game. I've actually been playing it a lot lately. Yeah, I saw your your post. Yeah, you're you got, what? Almost yeah. three gym badges, buddy. Wow. Listen, I've I've gotten two gym badges. I've beaten two of the whatever ginormous Pokemon, whatever they're called. Titans. And I'm I'm yeah whatever. And I'm about to do the first. Team, whoever team star, bad. yeah, sure. This build stadium right box gate, looks so. pretty good. Yeah, I might actually yeah. have to get this bitch too. I don't know. See, that's the the thing I hate about all this is like everything becomes collectible because Charizard's on it. Yeah, yeah, because you know yeah. it's gonna just skyrocket in value, but at the same time, it's just like I don't really want like I. For Scarlet and Violet, I think I opened one ETB and a handful of the packs, and I don't know, one or two, three pack blisters. That's it. Yeah. I really plan on doing the exact same thing with Paldea Evolved, and I don't really want to do more than that with this one either and just buy the singles. Yeah. But I... you know, it's going to be hard to get your hands on where like Scarlet and Violet right now, you know, it's, go it's still going to be sitting on the shelves for like another year and a half yeah. or so. Yeah. I mean, I would like to think the way they've been printing, maybe it's not a big deal. And it, it's like one of those oversaturated things. The biggest thing I could see is like, you know, the, the uh, Pokemon Center ETBs. Um, mm -hmm. Just because those are usually more limited. But obviously this being the more collector one, people probably bought a lot of, you know, four at a time purchases and stuff. But I just would like to think like, you know, these the booster bundles and shit like that. You're probably just not going to be like at a huge loss trying to get your hands on them. Um, this I could see maybe being a little more problematic because obviously Charizard's front and center. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think just, I mean, just from a picture, I think that's a pretty cool artwork right there with the Tyranitar too. They should have used that um, artwork than the shit that they gave us. Yeah. I mean, I don't <laughs> on know. The, uh, I, on that card. But yeah, I'm, I, I want to know what kind of, uh, jumbo card sets they're gonna make with this set. You talking about like the um the special boxes? Yeah, like the ones that come with four packs, two I... boxes. Yeah. Have they yeah. done an uh, uh, annihilate one yet? No, that one's coming out soon. But that one's coming out before this. Yeah, I think it's coming out with um Paldea Evolved. Well, yeah. that sucks. I was gonna say that would be one. Uh, no, that's probably going to be like the first collection box in the Scarlet Violet era. I probably buy just for the Annihilate. So, if you read the uh, the set description, it talks about Tyranitar, Ice Q, Vespiquen, uh, Dragonite, Greedent, uh, Reveru, Melmetal. So, I don't know. I mean, usually I don't think they necessarily have a rhyme or reason with the collection boxes they choose, though, right? Like they kind yeah. of just like, eh, this one hasn't seen any love. Like, that's here's a that's what one. It feels they like. pick random Pokemon and go. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know, but I'm excited for the set. I'm worried, you know, about how it might go down. But yeah. it says we're looking at 15 EXs, six Terra Pokemon EX, 12 illustration rares, and so on. So. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, hopefully it's not bad. And I hope that Charizard that we saw is not in it. Because that'll be sad. That'd be annoying. I got some news for you. <laughs> what if what if uh there's three Hope for the best, but prepare for the worst, my friend. Yeah. 
There's three gold cards. You think the other one would be a Tyranitar and the other one's a... Well, they usually have not all Pokemon-based ones, right? It's probably yeah. going to be a, one Pokemon, one trainer, and one... Um, Item. Yeah. Mm. I, I wouldn't even know where to guess on the who do, you, who do you think the waifu uh, card's going to be that everyone has to fall in love with? I think it's going to be the psychic trainer. Oh. Who's, or, who's or the, one of the waifu in Paldea Evolved? Um, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know who that is. So um, The, uh, oh the streamer, God. the electric yeah, the, gym leader. The one that everyone hated when they announced the game. Not me, and I have proof because it's been all over the internet. I've been a oh, the one that has like the weird ever. like demon teeth? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I'm trying to think of who all is in the game. Uh, why? How come? How Penny. come your character's mom never gets a card? You know what I mean? Like it literally could just be mom. You know? <laughs> That's like, a good point. Call home, get some money. Yeah, like I mean, there's so um, many things it could be like. You know, what if it's uh, like, what's the what's the rival? Um, oh, uh, Nimona. Mino Nimona. Yeah, that one. Say what, it again. It could be her. Say it again, Red. I don't, I don't remember what it is. <laughs> I think Minona. Nimona, <laughs> Nimona, yeah, yeah. All right, well, there you go. Anyways, yeah, I, I haven't uh, played enough of the game. To what really about know. who's the one that's like her, uh, her like uh, idol or whatever? I can't remember her name now. Oh, isn't it the champion? Uh, the, the champion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's her name? Good uh, question, Hannah. God, damn. I don't know. Gonzo, I, I, was... I think I've seen her uh, one time in the game at the very beginning, and that's it. Champion of. Paldea. Pita. Pita? Gita. 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 Pita. Oh, what kind of name is that? Right there. Omo Doc. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say you could go with that one. I don't know. I got a better chance saying Gita though. Um I'd imagine she gets a card at some point, right? I mean Yeah, probably. It, it might it, no, it won't be. I don't think it'll be this set. I think it's gonna be a team star. Uh trainer that's going to get the gold card just because of rubber room all of all of them had it that's, true. that's a good point poppy eventually gets one right um that is either the little girl you fate well uh, sorry you're not even close yeah. it's in the elite four the the child labor laws they're breaking <laughs> listen i'm gonna get my third badge soon yeah, you're still not close enough to meet Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, Ren. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's a bunch <laughs> they could choose. Although, I mean, the Poppy one, calling that one wife is weird. I'm definitely not going to do that. No, we, we should. Shall. Do Nobody should. I wasn't that. gonna bring that shit up. There's only one um, real waifu in Pokemon. Her name is Cynthia. Her she goes by mom. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy. I mean, honestly, though, like, I mean, you know, if we remember when Edith was first streaming, the mom in this one is kind of bad as hell. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. So, just so is the, the professor. I, listen, I'm gonna be honest. Both That's a them. robot, bro. That's a I, robot. I didn't even remember that I had a mom in this game because I haven't seen her since I first started it back like seven months ago. Uh, yeah, seven uh, months ago. <laughs> I don't think I don't think she pops up because I think in uh, in Sword and Shield, the mom in that one pops up a couple times, doesn't she? Uh, like, like throughout um, the story. I think like maybe once or twice i don't remember yeah Hence well i mean i know you definitely go back and visit her once you beat the elite four and all that so yeah. she does yeah, I, don't, I don't yeah time. i don't i don't even think i've gone back to my hometown since i left that bitch i was just like <laughs> nah dude just i couldn't like, even tell you where any place is in the map i just i follow this there's a i have a website that i pull up and it's like oh go do this next i'm like okay <laughs> He's following the okay. guide. <laughs> I, I literally couldn't even tell you a single town or territory or whatever they call them. Hey, you know, whatever. Yeah. At least, at least you're playing it slowly but surely. Yeah. Um, painfully. <laughs> hey, man, nobody's forcing you to play. <laughs> I'm forcing me to play. <laughs> yeah, you bought it. You might as well. Yeah. I can't just not play a Pokemon game. Like I, I feel like I have to beat. The game at least once, as awful as it may be. I mean, I beat it twice. Uh, I, I don't honestly. I didn't think it was that bad. Like, I think it's not bad at all. Like the glitches kind of sucked, but the story is just uh, is so good. The, for a the ending is dark as shit, though. 
<laughs> yeah, it got dark real quick. I don't know. I mean, like maybe as I play the game, it changes my mind or something. That's kind of my other hope with it is that maybe I'll start to like it a little bit more. But how do you feel about Arvin at the moment? The guy with the the uh, from the lighthouse, uh, the Titan guy. I mean, he was time he was pretty titan, shitty at like, first. But they just, he just showed me his whatever dog diff. Pokemon where he's like, oh my God, uh, I'm dying. I need to feed it a sandwich. And you're just like, oh, I kind of feel a little bit bad for you. Yeah, that's how I was. I'm like, eh. fuck this guy. Oh no, not doggo. I still don't I mean, really he still feel... sucks. His, yeah, he's, he's just his yeah. dog. Like, yeah, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. I was just like, ah, you got a little bit better in my opinion, but you're still a piece of shit. So. He, he has a sad story. <laughs> like overall, yeah. I still don't yeah. like him though. I don't know why. I'm just like, man. I don't he's don't he's like the the non-villain. He's the villainous non-villain. Yeah. Uh yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess. Sure. I guess. <laughs> I don't it's know. Really I think really I'm kind of stuck in like the whole nostalgia of the original generations to really I, enjoy this game. That's why I'm I'm curious on how if they ever did like the Let's Go Johto, how people would feel because I think the Let's Go Johto would be really fun to play. Oh, God, um, I would. I would no, play. That. No. I would take days off of work just to play and beat that game. If they come out with that, oh. I don't know. Maybe I not, remember. Maybe not. Let's go, Johto. But if they did it like a Heart Gold Soul Silver style remake, I just didn't like yeah. the Let's Go Pikachu. A, a remake of a remake? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. God, just like Inception. There. <laughs> like. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we're pretty much at that point. So. True. I mean, that's. I'm just like. I don't know. I. I put a lot of time in on the original gold. So that's like, I would love to see a really good remake of that stuff. But I, I didn't think Let's Go was bad, but I also I played either. it well after it came it's out. Not, so. it, it wasn't terrible or anything like that. It's just, they took out so many of the traditional mechanics that it just, it didn't feel the same. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, that was, you know, they were well into what the whole remaking the game. So it's like super duper easy and. Mm hmm. You figure well, the concept they, of that they game, they give like the you Pokemon everything. Go fans. So. They were trying to bring those fans into the, the main line. Yeah. Which, I mean, I hated the mechanic. I literally refused to do the, like, yeah, I hate so that. Nice. It just clicked it just me off so bad. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, all right, keep it grounded. Like That's kind of what I did, anywhere. too. I, yeah. I did it, I think, for the first, I don't know, hour. And then I was like, this is annoying. Yeah, like, I was missing throws. I was, like, doing all kinds of dumb shit. And I was like, all right, look. I don't got time. This is pissing me off. <laughs> just like, click A. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. you know, let me just not deal with this because this is so stupid. Um, I, I'm just saying, like, if they did, like, a heart gold, soul silver with, you know, like look, the updates to gold and silver, but they made it even in the brilliant diamond, shining pearl style, even if it's the chibi style. Like, I didn't mind I that either. Yeah, I, I like the, the diamond chibi and pearl. Thing, and I think people were just like, pissed off for no reason for it in my opinion well people are always trying to find a reason to be mad at something and then they buy it yeah. and this is the greatest thing ever shut the fuck well up. i didn't really like the chibi style but the game itself is just phenomenal so it's like it doesn't matter at that point yeah like the game well, is so good that i can get past the art style to enjoy it see the funny thing is i remember when the game came out i had never played the original diamond and pearls so i was actually like cool like you know i could play you know, it's the same exact game, pretty much, from what you guys said. So it's like, mm -hmm. basically, I'm playing Diamond and Pearl. Um, but it seemed like everyone else kind of it died out really fast. But also, they announced um, Legends Arceus. Arceus. Legends, yeah. So, like, two months later, that game came out. And it was kind of just like Diamond and I Pearl. I didn't understand that movie either. That was kind of a weird movie. Well, and that's what, like, kind of is annoying about, um, about the Pokemon games in general like our pokemon i guess as a company in general is they're just like oh cool we announced this thing and also this so it's yeah. like you don't have a moment don't forget really this in four more and... months is there's this yeah thing. and that's the thing is like i mean it's not always pokemon's fault there's obviously because it's a huge company the leaks that happen all the time so there's leaks you know like you figure a lot of the obsidian flame stuff was leaks now it's you know they dropped actual confirmation stuff but it just sucks because it's like what are you going to do yeah, I don't know. I just I wish we could revel in the moment for a second. That's one thing I, I really appreciate appreciate about Zaba and the whole nostalgics setup is they're doing what two sets a year. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you have a long time to sit in that set with the um, 
the promo sets, you know, the secret shards and whatever other stuff they drop um, to kind of keep you like, oh, yeah, cool, this came out. And, like, those are the only things you probably move on quickly from because, you know, after the first week when they've dropped, you're like, cool, cool, and, like, put them in your set, whatever, do whatever you do with them, and then you wait for the next one, you know. Mm -hmm. But the set itself, though, you have for five, six months to sit there and figure out all your decks and all that kind of stuff if you're playing and if you're just collecting, you know, it's like, oh, I'm, I have plenty of time to complete the set. I don't have this... 600,000 card list to, you know, have two seconds to try to figure out before the next one comes out. And then I've got another 600,000 yeah. cards and you're just like, holy shit, I don't got or do it the, the Pokemon time. way where the next set's not even out yet. And you're still looking ahead to the pre or the next set after that. And yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I like the way they're doing it. That's the only downfall with Pokemon. The whole community is very much like eyes way into the future. So but that's the thing. It used to not be that way until you know, big baller 69 Pokemon investors got into it. I don't know. It, it's always seemed that way since I've been in the community, maybe not as bad as it is now, but I go back to 2019 like... when um, team up and like an unbroken bonds were coming out. You didn't hear about hidden fates until like a month and a half, two months before it dropped. You weren't really looking ahead. You didn't know about things until they were almost there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess maybe with the hype, it's it, like the scalper hype. It's jumped up more with like the leaks, but can't really confirm because I don't remember 2019. But even without the leaks, Pokemon is still putting out the information like way, be way before anyways. Yeah. I mean, they do their like actual announcements and stuff, but um, anyways. Yeah. I don't is know. It, is it? Anyways, is it, I think it's time okay. for... The pickups of the week. We beatboxing. Right. Who's beatboxing? <sighs> I mean, I was. I guess I was. All right, settle down there, buddy. Uh, Outside, you guys think Judon gets there. when when he's not here. All of us are involved. <laughs> I mean, Ren just or Zen just announced that he didn't dance though. He, I mean, he, he, had, had, a little, he had a little. I shitty. did a little singing. He did he a little. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you did that. Was you. Oh, no, that was that wasn't me. Sorry, that was, that was Zen doing the breaking news. Uh, who yeah. wants to go first? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll go, go first. I got. Go I got. Okay, you go first. Wait, who, okay, well, you I'll go, go first. first. <laughs> you, All right. Oh, <laughs> oh no, I'll go first. <laughs> uh, so one pickup is this shirt because I like it. Take it off nice. so you can see it better. <laughs> Let's not do that. Thank you. Uh, second is. I got the uh, the backpack that they dude. That's bought. actually pretty sweet. It's that's the one with all fucking... the storage stuff in it. Yeah, it's fucking yummy. Let me open yeah. it. Cool. Right. I'm actually kind of really digging that. Yeah. I'm I mean, going to yeah. bring it with me to card party. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm When's card party? It. Is it two weekends? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna. Oh, use so it is as this my... the one for the deck box stuff? Yeah. Like you can put decks in. What, yeah, I'm gonna use it for my cameras and my camera case, and I'll I'll bring some extra now. Stuff. Can you pull all that stuff out if you wanted to? Yes. Oh, that's kind of cool. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I'm really excited for this. It's really fucking cool. Oh, yeah. uh, then there's a storage space for like laptops and all that other stuff. It's not so it's not your standard backpack. Like I wouldn't recommend anyone taking this to school, but it is a cool like uh, travel backpack for. Camera equipment, storage purpose. cards, yeah. Um, nice. And then I'd be good just to go to the card shop with. Yeah. Uh, let's see how well this works out with my camera. I hey. did pick up the Crydon EX Gold. I got this. I opened this on uh, Jay's Corner TCG's podcast when I was on that with him. And then I picked up a hey. Dark Slowbro Ooh. and a Sabrina's Gengar from a Fake. local card shop. Fake. Fake. Yeah. Yeah, I did a short. And uh, apparently it's super fake. <laughs> but when I call people out on it, they're nowhere there to respond. So it's like, all right, because everything's fake unless it's theirs. But whatever. Yeah. That uh, yep. those are my Nobody, pickups. Nobody's ever seen a Sabrina's Gengar before. All right, Zen, yeah. did you say you want to go next? Not a real one. Yeah, sure. All right, I don't really have a pickup. But so... he wants to show off the dog. Wait, <laughs> that does not want to be seen. <laughs> But he's cute. Look at him, how cute he is. That is a cute puppy. That's a cute little pupper. Now, do you give him treats? Right. That's it. That's all I have. Uh, yeah, you got a treat earlier. He only gets like one a day, though. 
Oh wow, that's a sad fucking life for dog. But all right. Okay. Well, at least it's not dying from. He doesn't eat very dog much. Dog diabetes actually. or He's something. Like, <laughs> dog diabetes. <laughs> Listen, it's a thing. I got a couple pickups. I got a flocked hawks recently. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it was five bucks at uh, five below. So. Oh, nice. We know it was why. A and then I got my waifu from My Hero Academia, Nezri Hado. Nice. But my big pickups this week are that I got, <laughs> you I got two sample <laughs> Fox token cards from Nostalgics, one signed by Zaba. But these Fox token cards only exist in the sample set. They never made it to um, real production. So very limited of those ever made. And then I got a sample void rare Brecken the Miner. Hey. Oh, there's not is there text on it? I can't. Now, who did who did you swindle Here. for that? Um, <laughs> hold on. It's um hey Zen, you remember when we were playing MetaZoo in the on the SJC Discord? One it was one mm -hmm. of those guys we played against, Makoto. I swindled oh, the yeah. shit out of this guy. <laughs> so he's selling. He was selling a bunch, and he actually kind of hooked me up with a little bit of a deal for these. Oh, of course, of course. So <laughs> I told him I'm coming back for more. So he's like, "I'll give you In some typical Ren fashion." It's just like, "Oh yeah, they Listen, just I know how to make this, the deals, man. Don't they just don't they just hater. wanted this this regular ass Pikachu I had thirty five off, so I <laughs> traded them, and they were down with it. Yeah, so I got those. They're all sample cards. <laughs> Grumpy's just a just a hater. But I got these you just always have these crazy ass deals for like sample cards where you're just like, oh yeah, I traded them this thing, and I'm like, how do you keep finding these people that are okay with these trades? You know, if you want me to be completely honest with you, I actually get contacted a lot about stuff like that. I don't really do a lot of the reaching out. They, they just like, hey, out. I'm ready to get swindled. Come at me with your best deal. Well, it's not. It's Literally, only like, nobody is contacting some, me. Like, at some all people. No, well, I mean, I'm very active in the nostalgics community. I, I give them that. Oh, that oh, Ren, okay, Ren is you. most active yeah, you're here. Right, so, you're right. you know, I'm actually, Gonzo, I'm, a, I'm a recluse. Yeah. I try to stay away from people. Yeah, so. me, me and Gonzo <laughs> are just like, hey, let's let's talk in the cap chat from time to time. And it's just us and steal sometimes. <laughs> <and> <laughs> Yeah, we're over here just oh, by ourselves. I'm um, gonna post a nudie picture in one no, day, dog, and it's gonna last there. for like three months before Zen catches on. I know. I'm just like, you can do what you want in there. Zen's not around to tell us to stop. Um, hey, I do so post in the the Discord like once a month though. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Ren. <laughs> Thanks so much for your contribution. You're um, welcome. So, as you guys know, Smokey Desard, who's probably in the chat. Um, he hooked me up. He found one of these for me. Uh, my Walmart pretty much was just like, fuck Pokemon and cards. So no more. Oh, shit. Um, so he grabbed me one of these. Uh, I, I might open it. I don't know. But Bet you won't. I just wanted it you know, for that. Hey, I'm not going to open it right this second. What do you want, boy? Coward. Do you have a Cracker Barrel near you? Uh, he is so. the Cracker Barrel. I So I went to Cracker Barrel the other <laughs> night, and they, they had like 20 of those Charizard 10 things there. So At a Cracker out. Barrel? Well, Isn't Cracker Barrel a yeah. restaurant? It yeah, is, they, they have Pokemon like a little uh, store. They have a little uh, store though. So, um, he gave me a bunch of cards as well, some dupes from uh, different stuff, a whole stack of them. I'm not gonna go through all of them. There's a bunch, and then a bunch of Steelers ones. Uh, and then also, so if you guys like Funkos, check out your um, like box lunches, your um, hot topics. They do a lot of random deals to like get rid of stuff. So uh, he said that they were having a crazy sale, and it was like nice. buy one get three free. So he was like, yeah, I grabbed you one of these. Um, and then That's he also got this in the in the deal. So this is the only one I didn't have. So I'm really excited because now I've got all of the Blink-182. And this is the one where they're all naked. So <laughs> I bet that was the one you were so hoping to get. Well, yeah. so again, I'm in typical fashion sure. with Funko, they they drop everything in like random like lots. So it's like, oh, cool. Yeah, we announced this one. So they had the one where... They're like just shirtless, and it's like them, like probably how they played back in the day. I don't know. I've never really watched their old school uh, concert stuff, but they had it one of the albums where they were naked in like one of the videos, and so that was this one. It was a few videos, they, they probably. Did in. But so I was like, you know, cool. But they already announced this one just up here, so I had already gotten that one. And then for Christmas, Allie got me the uh, vinyl one, which like the album one, which is up there. Um, so I was like, well, I don't need another one. I'm not going to, you know, go after it. But then he got it for free. So I was like, 
cool beans. Um, so yeah, that's all I got. Thank you. Nice. 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 All right. <laughs> you, want to, you want to land this plane, Zen? <laughs> well, it, uh, guess we got nothing else, so have a good one. <laughs> uh, Bye, we everybody. appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We will see you landing. in the next episode. Later. Happy Memorial Day. Oh, that shit. Yeah. I forgot about that. The two uh, veterans forgot uh, about it. <laughs> no, I, I didn't forget. I thought about it all week it, it's one of those holidays i'm not a fan what's, of what's a food of reasons. Yeah, food um and chorito what what's that what's that white person oh, potato man, salad you had before this with fiesta <laughs> white person the the cheesy salad. Yeah. potatoes yeah it was literally sour cream potatoes and maybe some not you cheese. said potato salad i'm thinking of an actual <laughs> potato salad i'm like who the hell i had potato salad all potato right. salad <laughs> Bye, Peace out, everybody. everybody. <laughs> <See you. laughs>